Hello. Happy Thursday. It's Miss Gabby from Miss Gabby's Artist Good Studio in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Um, we're going to do a theme today called Just Keep Swimming. And so we're going to go under the sea and we're going to draw um, some fish. And how I got the Just Keep Swimming is I follow um, and watch faithfully every day um, Ellen DeGeneres' Instagram, Facebook. I watch her every day. So she said in the Instagram the other day, right before she got off, she said, just remember, just keep swimming. And it hit me. Oh, that would make a great um, lesson for today. So we're not going to do Nemo and we're not going to do um, Dory. We're not going to draw those, but we're going to create our own under the sea picture today um, of a school of fish. We're going to add some seaweed. We're going to add some bubbles. I'm going to teach you how to shade with bubbles. So um, it should be fun. So, and again, we're going to do this strictly with our markers, our crayons, and our pencil and eraser, and that's it. There's so many things that you can do with just your markers and your crayons. It's crazy. Um, next week, I'll be doing some other projects that will really get you into using both and mixing a little bit of the, um, using uh, water with your um, Crayola markers. So we're gonna do some fun things next week too. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start um, with our fish. So I'm gonna turn it around and we are going to view our picture for today. And if you can see, it's my fishies. Okay. Hello, Gianna. I can't wait to see what you're painting or drawing. <laughs> um, so I, I, I get distracted. See, I can't look down and look at you guys giving me messages because then that throws me off. Because then I'm like, I just want to babble and talk to you. But um, I will talk to you in a, in a little bit. But anyways, okay, so focus, Gabby. Um, we're going to do our fish, okay? So today we're going to do it a little different than we did before on Tuesday. If you see, we're going to outline today everything in our marker. And then we're going to color everything in with our crayons, Okay. And then I'm going to teach you a little bit of shading on your fish scales. So we're going to do a little bit of easy shading with the fish scales to make the fish pop up off the page. Okay? So today we are going to turn our paper the landscape way. Okay? So I will... Hold on. All right, <clears throat> so we have it the landscape way. And <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one big fish in the middle of our paper as our focus, as our focal point. Okay, so in order to do that, we're gonna start with our guidelines. Remember, our guidelines, you keep it nice and light because we're gonna erase these eventually. So you don't wanna make hard lines because then you won't be able to erase them. So we're gonna make an egg shape, okay? Or an oval, a big, plump, thick oval here. Now remember, you want your oval not to be too far up at the top because your top fin is gonna be up there. So you want enough room to have your top fin and enough room to have your bottom fin. So we're looking like right about there. Where's my eraser at here? Okay. There we go. Okay. So keeping it nice and light. Okay. All right. So my first fish is gonna go there. Now, if you take a minute and you look at my picture here, we have a lot more dimension because, 
so there's a fish in front, a fish in the back, and then we've got even the little baby fishes in the distance way to make it look like it's far away, okay? So that gives it more depth as well. So when we are drawing, we're going to add another fish right about here. Okay, so you can put your, your little white oval shape here just to give you an idea of where everything's gonna fall. We're gonna do another little baby here and look, gang, I'm keeping this nice, nice and light because you might end up changing it at some point. And then I wanna add another one here. And I think that's it for right about now. Okay, so now we've got some dimension going on. We've got some um, groups of school fish. Now it's time to add the details. So we're gonna start with our first fish. We're gonna create the head of the fish. So we're just gonna do a curved line right about here, okay? So just a curved line. And we're gonna give him a big eye, a big circle for the eye. Again, still keep it light. And then we're gonna give him that donut hole. Okay, so he's got some personality already. He's talking to us. Now, the lips, kissy lips. I love kissy lips. Kissy lips are so easy because if you turn your paper the long way, and you make a really fat heart. You have kissy lips. And then we're gonna erase the inside here and here. Okay, so, so far, let's slow down a minute here. So, so far we have there we go. So far we have our fish and we're making all egg shapes right now. Okay. And then we have the head of the fish. We're giving it a little curve. We're giving a big circle for the eye. We're making a little donut inside that eye. And then we're turning our paper to make a heart. And we're gonna divide that heart all the way down to give it the bottom lip and to give it the top lip. And then when you turn your paper back this way, the normal way, you can even come out a little bit more, make this bottom lip a little bit fatter if you wanted to, you don't have to. It's totally up to you. Okay, so now it's time to add the fins. So we're gonna start at the top of our fish and all it is is a wavy, diagonal line all the way up. And you can make it however wavy you want and however wide you want. And then we're just gonna make a wave coming back down. Now we're gonna go down to the bottom here and we're gonna line it up where our top one, our top fin is. We're gonna go down here. That's where I'm gonna start my bottom fin, okay? And again, another wavy line, diagonal. And then a straight wavy line going up. 
How we doing? Are we okay? All right, now we're gonna go to the tail. Okay, we're gonna make two straight lines, not very wide. In fact, that's too wide. Make it just a little, two little straight lines coming up like that, coming out like that. And then again, we're gonna go, we're gonna aim for the corners. We're not gonna go to the corner, but we're gonna aim for the corners in that direction. So we're gonna add a wavy line here, a wavy line here, and then a wavy line to connect it. Okay. Now, we're gonna turn our paper the long way, and I'm gonna show you how to make these scales, okay? Very simple. We're gonna do a U, a U, the letter U, and we're gonna connect them, and we're gonna take it all the way over till we reach the end, the bottom of the fish. Okay, so we have our first U's. Now, don't make your U's any smaller than, look, it's, mine's almost like a width. You'll, you'll get tired pretty quickly. So make sure that you get a nice, decent size width of a finger U. And we're gonna go all the way across. <coughs> Now, when we do the second row, okay, we're gonna make, see this line right here? We're gonna make a U in between the U's. A U in between. A U in between. And we're gonna go all the way to the end. Okay? <coughs> And we're gonna continue this till we reach the end of the fish. Now, even though your little fishy here is right here, don't worry about him right now. Remember, he's invisible. So just keep making your U's because you're not pushing really hard. So we'll be able to erase what we we don't need. And we're gonna go in between. Use all the way down. Now, once we get down to the bottom here, See how we have some space left? Let's just give one big curve like that. And then put your... Yeah. Okay. So if you look, oops, sorry gang. If you look up here, we're just making our U's, okay? We're just making our U's. All the way across. Okay, now, what we're gonna do next, hold on here is we're gonna go back this way and we're gonna turn our paper and keep if you are still making your U's keep on doing it keep making your scales don't stop because remember you can go back later on and you can rewind me and 
uh, or pause me and, and listen to the spots that you missed earlier. So no worries there, gang. You'll be able to have this video um, all weekend long. So I'm making waves. As I'm talking, I'm just making waves. I'm making stripes. And there's, you can make them as fat as you want. You can make them as skinny as you want. Remember again, you're coloring this, so keep that in mind. I don't, I don't want you to rush through this, which is why you have, you know, you can just stop and start whenever you need to. Um, but don't rush through. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. Take a break when you're, when you're starting to rush, put your crayon down, put your markers down and just stand up, do the happy dance for a little bit and then come back to it. Now the uh, tail here, we're going to make our waves as well here and again, however you want. Okay. Okay, now, now that that part's done, how you feel? How we feeling? Are we feeling good? Okay, so now what we're gonna do next is we have this little baby fish over here. So he's an e a very easy guy. So this fish we had rounded on both ends. Well, this little guy, we're going to make him his each end pointy. Okay. And then we're going to be making a lot of triangles with this little guy. We're going to make a triangle for the mouth and we're going to erase the point right here. We're going to erase that. So that his mouth is open. And right above his mouth, we're going to give him an eye, a circle. And then another little circle inside that. <clears throat> now, his fins are very simple this time. They are just tri all triangles. So this fish, the triangle goes up down, triangle underneath, we're going to go down, up, and then the triangle for the tail, we're going to go out diagonal, out diagonal, connect it, okay. And then he has to have a little fin here. So we're gonna do another side triangle right there. And then guess what gang, that fish is done. Woohoo! So now we've got two fish. Okay. Okay, so let's make Let's make the third one here. So this little guy, we're gonna make, we're gonna go back to the egg shape. But you're only gonna see about three fourths of him. You're not gonna see his tail and you're probably not gonna see a whole lot of the bottom fin, you will see the top fin and you'll see his mouth, but that's about it, okay? So if you look up here, okay, you're not gonna see his tail, but you're gonna see the a little bit of the bottom fin, a little bit of the top fin, and then the rest of his face. 
Okay, so let's go back down here. And we're gonna start with the face. So we're gonna give a curved line where you want his face to start. And then we're gonna continue with that curved line. And we're gonna give this little guy some stripes. And you can make how many stripes you want on him, but he's gonna have some stripes. Okay, now look here. When I hit the fish, the big fish, I stop, okay? Because that's all you're gonna see. You're not gonna see any more of that because he's behind. And then I'm gonna give him another big eye here and a little donut hole inside that. He's looking cute. Okay, now I'm gonna make my heart. So those of you just tuning in to make cute kissy lips on a fish, you turn it sideways, you make a heart. And you can make that heart however plump you want. Maybe your fish has Botox, who knows? And then erase inside the lips because you've got little, probably a few guidelines. And then we're gonna turn it back and we're gonna add another wave and then a wave down. And that's for the fin. And then down here, we're just adding just a very small line for the bottom fin because it disappears because it's going behind. Okay. And then, voila, we have three fish now. All right, so let's look at the picture here that I did earlier. We've got this fish done, this fish done, that fish done, now we have one left, and it's this little guy, okay? So as you can see, this little guy is more of a, what shape is that? A triangle, okay? So we're gonna focus more on this guy being a triangle. So the good thing is we've got our spot for him, okay? So I've got my, my spot mapped out right about here. And what I wanna do is I don't wanna make a, a straight triangle with straight lines. So I wanna keep with that curve that I've got going. And then I wanna come down here, okay? But then I wanna stop and now that I've drawn the front part of my fish, I now wanna erase what's inside. So once you map out the front part of your fish, the face, then you're gonna erase the inside. Okay. Okay. All right, so now let's make a line going down here. We're gonna make his body still here. We're gonna make a line going up that way so we're not gonna go the whole way across. We're gonna have it open in the middle, okay? So we're gonna start at the top, go down a little bit, stop. Start at the bottom, go up a little bit, stop. Leave this open space. This open space 
right here where we left off. Now we're gonna make a wavy line. We got lots of wavy lines going on today. And then we're gonna stop. We're gonna come back down. And we're gonna stop, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. We're going to wave, go out, and then wave, come back in. And we've got our fish. Now he's gonna have a really big mouth, okay? So we're gonna make it curvy a little bit too. So instead of, see this little guy has straight lines, right? So this little guy here, he's gonna have a curved mouth. So we're just gonna give a curve here and a curve there. Because he is yapping to the big fish. And the big fish is saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like everybody says to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we doing okay? And again, don't fret. If you miss something, just keep working through it. Okay, because you can go back later and you can um, work out the details where you missed. So now that we have our mouth, we're going to add our eye. So we're going to add our circle for the eye. And then we're going to add another baby circle inside that, the donut hole. And then we're going to add stripes. We're going to do waves. Wavy stripes. Does anybody have an aquarium at home? If you do, you should look and see your fish, if there are any fish that were drawn here today. And uh, be like, hey, fishy. I'm a drawing you today. So what do you think? Are we good? Okay, awesome. Okay, gang, so it is finished. Drawing part, that is. We're gonna add just a few circles real quick. So you can add the bubbles, you can add there. Uh, my suggestion is when you start the bubbles, to start out small and then as you go up, get bigger. And usually I do like three bubbles per fish. Okay. But you can do however many you want because it is your picture. Now this little guy, I'm not gonna do any bubbles because it'll interfere with my scales and I really want my scales to show. So I can maybe even do a, a circle up here. Okay. All right, now, the next thing is we're gonna put our pencil down and we're gonna shake that hand because I know my students always say, my hand is so so let's shake that hand i hope we're having fun and enjoying it now comes the fun part okay and we're gonna color it so as we're sitting here just relaxing for a second let's go over to our colors and and look at all the different colors that we have so we have the warm family which are the reds and the oranges and the yellows then we've got the cool family which are the blues, the purples, the greens. Um, the pinks are sometimes, depending on the pinks, I put them more in the warm family. So I tend to go on this side with them. But depending on the color, they can it can swing both ways. Um, and then looking at my, my crayons, my Ridgy Biv order here. Um, 
and just feeling it out. Now, I picked three colors for my big fish and then two colors for my other fish. If you wanted to do a rainbow fish, you could. Um, if you wanted to do all one color fish, you can do that too. So it's, it's totally, totally up to you. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna all start with our big fish. So I need you to think about what color you wanna do and you wanna start with. Now here's the beauty of this. You do not have to do the colors that I'm going to do. If you want to do a different color, you can. Okay. Now Miss Gabby loves purples and pinks. So her first fish, she outlined it, or I outlined in blue. Um, but this fish, I'm going to outline in purple. So we're going to start with the body. Okay, so very nice and slow. Take your time. Go all the way around, tracing that egg shape that you made. Now, keep in mind, I use the fat markers. I like that I I like that thickness. You can use the thin markers. If you only have the thin markers, this will work. Do not panic. You make it work, okay? So whatever you have works for you. If you have both, you can even experiment with both, okay? So don't worry if there's something that I'm doing that you don't have, just make it work with whatever you have in front of you. Now, and do that line there and we're also just going to outline the outer circle of our eye not the inner just the outer and then the top fin and the bottom and then the tail and notice I didn't put any background in yet. I did that on purpose, so I didn't forget about it, but I didn't want too much going on. I wanted to be able for you to be able to see and focus on the fish. So we'll get to the background, don't worry. And then let's outline And if you want to do each line a different color, you can. There's no right or wrong, whatever you're feeling. Okay. Now, now we can decide what colors we wanna make our scales. I'm just gonna do each row a different color so you all see what um, what they all look like. Um, so, but you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. But I'm gonna start with my red and I'm just gonna trace right over the lines that I have. And then I'm gonna just do each row a different color okay so I'm I'm going pretty fast but I suggest and highly um, encourage you to take your time and continue wherever you are because you will be able to go back and catch up So we've got our reds, we've got our oranges, we've got our yellows. Now I'm gonna go into our green here. Okay, now this is the part that gets tricky. 
His mouth is open, so you can see what's behind him. And what's behind him is a cute little green scale. Okay. I'm gonna do blue. So how we doing, are we okay? I hope so, I hope you're having fun. I love coloring and drawing fish. I could just draw them all day long. I don't know why, but it's a lot of fun for me. And then I'm gonna end up with my pink. Those of you that did the first drawing be the light, my goodness gracious, you impressed the heck out of me. You guys did an awesome, awesome job. That's why I'm so loving this, and I just love seeing what you create. Um, so this is, this is awesome, and you're doing awesome, so keep it up, because I'm super proud of you. Now, I'm going to go here for a second and I'm going to look at my eye and I'm going to get what color I want to make my eye and I want to give him a blue eye. So I'm just going to do a real thick line around the donut hole. I'm leaving that white right now because then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add my black. but like we always do, we leave a little highlight so he shines. Color that in. And your kissy lips, your kissy lips can be red, it can be pink, it can be purple, whatever color you want them to be. I'm gonna make him some red lips. Or she, her, maybe her. You can give your fish eyelashes if you wanted to. Now, I'm gonna color, I want my lips to really stick out. So I'm gonna color my lips with my marker. So that, boom, it's right there, okay? All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with coloring in our scales. So we're gonna get our go over here to our crayons and if you're doing a red outline, find your red crayon and color your red. Scales. Now, it's very tempting for us to go like this and color the whole row at one time, but it's a lot more effective and a lot nicer if we can do each one individually and get it nice and solid with no white showing nice and neat, taking your time, making it look beautiful, okay? Then I'm gonna go back, now my next row <coughs> is orange, so I'm gonna find my orange here. And I'm gonna color my orange. Okay. All right, so we've got our orange colored in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my yellow And I'm gonna color in my yellow. 
actually need. Hold on. I've really used my yellow. So think of your favorite colors and you're gonna be making your next fish his neighbor right here. We're gonna be doing this little guy next, okay? So, you get the, the idea. We're gonna go scale by scale, coloring it in, taking our time as we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna stop on my green and I'm gonna show you how to do the shading on the scales so that you know how to give it a little extra dimension, a little extra oomph. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to turn my paper the long way, okay, portrait way, and starting with the red, I'm going to grab my red again, and the top row, all I'm going to do is just push a little harder, so it's the pressure here now that's important, you're not going the whole way down, you're just going a little about halfway, not even, and giving it a darker making it a little bit darker. And then remember how we talked on Tuesday about as you go down getting lighter and lighter? And that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna make it dark. We're gonna go across. And then we're just gonna lift up on it. We're gonna go hit it hard. And then as we go down, lift up on it. Okay. Now when you go to your second row and you pick up your orange or whatever color you have, see this little peak right here? Okay. So it's important that that peak is really nice and dark. And then again, we're just gonna go Straight across. Make that dark all the way across because this scale right here is on top of this. So there's a little extra shadow underneath it. And then as it goes down, there's more light that hits it and it gets lighter. So we only need to do half of it by giving it that extra punch. And this makes a huge difference in your work. Okay. Now yellow is kind of hard. So what I do is I just get my orange and instead of pushing lightly I, or hard, I just glaze over with my orange. <clears throat> when I have my yellow shadow to do. I use an orange for that. And then with my green, I'm gonna use my green here. Grab my green and again, And you're getting in between, in between there, because that's that's the important part too, is to make sure there's a nice sharp line against 
the yellow and against the green. Okay, so if you look at look at the difference guys look at this one and then look at this one with no shadow this one with shadow look how much more pizzazz it has it pops right off the page okay so that's just a, a little and if you don't want to do the shading you don't have to um there's i mean there, it looks beautiful without it but if you wanted to take that extra plunge and do it, you can. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna figure out what two colors, three colors, whatever colors, you want to do this fish down here. And I'm gonna do mine, let's, do, let's just do orange, the same one I did up there. And then all you do, again, is you're gonna outline it So you're going to outline everything. Outline the outer circle. Figure out what color you want for the inner circle, the color of the eye. I'm going to do light green this time. And then the black, I'm going to be right there. Okay. And then we're just going to color in. <clears throat> so how are we doing? Are we feeling okay? Are we good with this? I hope. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm going to show you now how to do the bubbles. And then I'm going to talk about the background. And then I'm going to let you go. Because I really want you to create um, on your own. Uh, I don't. The background on your own. I like leaving the background up to you guys. Telling you a little bit about what to do, but then leaving it up to you to do it. Okay, so. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now. The bubbles. Do you have a blue crayon? If you do, pick up your blue crayon. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to outline our bubble, and then we're going to make one little line, curve line in the middle of our bubble. Below that curve line is gonna be our shadow. So we're just going to very lightly color that in. Above it, we're gonna leave go. And on the outer edge of that, we're gonna give it a little shadow. And that's it. So let's do it again down here. We're gonna do this circle, curve it, add a little shadow. And we're good. Okay, what do you think? Are you liking it? 
I'm loving it. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Now, with the background, if you look up here, okay, the seaweed, if you wanna know how to do the seaweed, the seaweed is very easy. You can even just do it without using your pencil. Um, use your marker, your green marker, and just do a wavy line. And then a wavy line coming back down. Make them all different sizes. Make some fat, make some skinny, make some coming down from the top. Color that in, okay? Whatever, whatever you want. And then we'll get our green here. Color it in. that. Okay. So that is pretty much if you want. Oh, and one more thing. If you want some gravel down at the bottom, um, you can get all different colors and you can do this just with your marker and just make little patches of color, little different, different little patches of color. And you can do this with your marker or you can do this with um, your crayons or you can do this both and just get little, little patches and just color them in. And you can do that the whole way across or you can do that going up, you can make a hill, uh, you can, you do whatever really you want to do. Um, the other two fish that we've got going on here, again, I'm just going to do this one real fast so that you see. I don't want to bore you, but I want you to understand how to do it. So we're going to outline here. And one more technique and fun way of, of coloring in a fish is if you leave, if you have no scales, okay? And you pick two colors. I'm gonna pick my red and my orange. And you start to color it in. So you're starting to color it in. And remember, always remember, go with the fish. So if the fish is going this way, go back and back and forth, okay? And then stop, pick up your orange, overlap your orange and red to get a little blend. Take it to a little further out here. And you could, oh, I know, here, here, here. Then with your orange, take your yellow, overlap a little bit. So for my students, the, the way that we do the blend with the paint, where we start with the dark and then we you know, fade into each color. That's sort of the technique that we're doing here, but we're using crayons. So we're blending now with our crayons. So we're getting our red and, and orange and we're going over our red and then we can go back over. <clears throat> okay. All right. 
So when you're doing this, think about this. When I was doing mine, the face, okay, this part right here, I left it white to the very end because I didn't know what color I wanted to color it. But yes, you can color in your face. I would just leave it to the end. And then that way you can see that there might be a color, even especially if you do the rainbow, there might be a color that you really like that you want to bring up in through here again. Um, and so then that way, yes, you can color that in. You can color your stripes in. You could leave... You could do every other one. So if you wanted to leave some white in your stripes and you just wanted to do one stripe and color it in here. And then the other stripe, skip it, do another one. Skip it, do another one. And you wanted to leave these two white, you could do that. So having a little bit of the white show through, I think is pretty cool. This is a very big area to keep white. So unless you've got like a lot of color going on, you'll probably end up coloring this part in. But what color you're going to use is is totally going to be up to you. And, and, and I think that would be you make that decision after you do your whole fish, okay? Can you put hot colors with warm colors? Hot colors meaning what? Like fluorescent colors? Yeah, sure, you could mix them. Um, Jennifer, uh, yes. Yes, you can. You can you can put hot colors with warm colors. <clears throat> okay, I'm just looking to see if anybody else has any questions here. <laughs> you used to have a bed of fish. I used to have bed of fish when I was young too. Um, mine were red, red and I think one was blue too. Um, they lived for a while. My goldfish, I was never successful with goldfish. But, uh, beta fish, yeah. Definitely. So. There we go. So here's what I'm going to do. Um. I'm going to put the live video on my Facebook page. I'm going to put the finished, uh, the, the examples that I did here today on my Facebook page. And then you can, over the weekend, um, or today or tomorrow, whenever, finish your fish picture. And when you're finished with your fish picture, you can post it again because I so enjoyed your posts. Um, it made my day. I was doing donuts in the kitchen and singing in the living room. It was a lot of fun. So I'm glad I can bring you smiles, laughs. I'm glad I can bring the family together. Um, and two little girls yesterday had a play date via FaceTime and they both, um, did, uh, the art lesson, um, while they were FaceTiming each other. So it's really awesome, um, the different ways that, even though we are secluded right now and, and in lockdown, as I call it, um, we're able to still reach each other. And, and I think we are going to uh, learn a lot more in how to reach each other and really listen and, and love each other because that's really sort of what we need right now. I think we need this lockdown mentally for all of us. Um, but I started art when I was in second grade. Um, private art lessons with Carol Sellers. Um, and I went weekly. I loved it. And then when I graduated high school, um, I went to St. Vincent and I continued there. Um, with a bachelor's degree in fine arts and focus in graphic design. And then I went to the Art Institute and 
and that's that's the story. So um, I uh, yeah, I've been doing art pretty pretty long time, and um, some of you are in second grade and and just starting, and so I remember in times that when I was um, in elementary school and it was really cold outside or it was raining and we had to have recess inside, um, I would sit around, we would sit around in a circle um, with my friends and I would <laughs> teach them how to draw a cat step by step or how to draw the beach, um, palm trees. So we, uh, art has been a part of, huge part of my life um, in dealing with so many things um, for a really long time. So, um, and I just wanted to tell you guys, I today brought my coloring books to show you um, what I do in the evening. So I'm gonna turn this around real fast before you guys, <clears throat> I let you guys go, but this is, this is my coloring book. I, I color from these. It's breathe and center, because I'm always telling myself to stop and breathe. So I bought specifically books that say that. But these are mandelas, and I love mandelas. I love coloring them. Um, and here are just a few of what I do. This is what I do at night. To unwind. I can't do my art and I can't draw because it excites me and then I'm up till two, three in the morning. So I do this and I color and I play with my colors. This is a great time to experiment and play with your colors and see what works. And this is my Roy G. Biv one where each line I do a different color. And so it's just fun and it's just something that um, is very relaxing to me um, and there's tons of different uh, you know um, designs out there um, that uh, you can you can do you don't have to do as intricate and as detailed as I am um, but detail is my middle name I love 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 detail this one I was actually really honestly thinking of Greater Latrobe with the black and the, or the uh, orange and the black. Um, but then I just couldn't do all orange and black and I had to add more color to it. So, um, but I tried really hard to do all orange and black, but it didn't work. Um, so yeah, so these are just whatever I'm feeling at night. I just, I just do. So it's fun. So I highly recommend that um, if you're, stir crazy and you want to relax at night doing a little bit of uh that coloring is fun so well i had a great time with you today um and we will be here again on tuesday at one o'clock um i have a fun project planned and i'll let you know a little bit more of that toward the end of the weekend but um throughout the weekend i'll do little pop-ins and little um show you what i'm working on as well so but i enjoyed you and thank you for watching and and creating with me it was a great time and you brought the sunshine out the sun is trying to peek through so that's a good thing um so i'm gonna enjoy the afternoon at my studio with the sun and doing a little my own creating and in the meantime you finish your fish and upload them to me post them tag miss gabby and uh hashtag miss gabby's art studio or i'm sorry miss gabby's art class and um we'll see you soon all right gang have a good weekend stay safe and stay clean and <laughs> stay healthy bye